Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So first of all, today is the Chinese New Year Eve and tomorrow is the Year of the, year of the Tiger. Uh, so wishing you all a happy Chinese New Year. Gong Xi Fa Cai. And may you uh, have a great prosperity, uh, good health and wealth as well um, for all of you so now um <clears throat> i've been playing quite a lot of games lately and uh, one game that i play quite often is the this game uh so this is a pre-recorded uh, game session i play a void crusade a violet void crusade which is pretty fun i would say uh, by and large un until i make a little silly mistake when i sort of like uh, set one of the mission until too difficult as you see earlier on uh, there was a one level 100 um a secret mission which i really shouldn't have like you know path it that way but anyway i'll get to that in a bit now um in case you wonder what is void uh, crusade in in the context of uh, warhammer 40,000 inquisitor martyr is uh, very much like in path of exile you finish a story and you do a lot of mapping until you get to close to 100 i would presume um, some of you may be able to reach kind of near to that um for 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 Diablo 3, for example, getting to the level cap is kind of straightforward, but to um, to sort of like grind the, uh, the, the the greater reef and reef to get a key, and then after that get more gear, get more paragon is basically the end game. Now for this particular uh, game, the uh, when you finish the story, you probably hit around level 70, I would say, and uh, from then on 70 to 100, uh, you would do quite a fair bit of like um, you know. Uh, uh, missions that whatever game mode that you like to play pick maybe uh, a DLC kind of like priority as, uh, assignment or it could be like um, you know some of the just one one mission one single mission or Intel which is a little bit difficult uh, than the normal mission uh, but you know it is more rewarding or Void Crusade now Void Crusade is pretty fantastic um, you the whole entire Void Crusade for me because I'm a completionist and I'm not really running too fast at the moment because I want to, I want to discover more uh, maps and more treasure I want to collect more uh, tarot card so I'm doing it kind of like leisurely just to complete everything get all the keys try to or and, and also get all the info fragment that kind of like give me insight on what the end, end game the loop box would be um, so it takes me around like uh, two hour or two and a half hours uh, to complete one void crusade and the uh, so it's pretty rewarding because one void crusade would consist of at least 24 or 25 kind of mission all chained up together into a story well not really a story but in, into a into a set of mission so the uh, <coughs> the excitement part uh, exciting part of it is that you have a limited uh, number of life to complete the entire mission and also the uh, <coughs> as you can see at the beginning it's a little bit like pathing and like a network so the the difficulties increase as you as you uh, open up the note, so there are all the notes there. So some note is plus one, some note is plus two, some note is like, you know, just uh, stay as it is. Now the difficulties will get escalated as you open up more notes. Uh, the interesting thing about this Void Crusade, at least from how I discover it, is that the, uh, the, the, the difficulties of the mission is being fixed at the point whereby it is being discovered. Um, I bet there are some exceptions to it, but more or less, it's, it's like that. So it, it is a bit of like a planning because uh, somehow, you know, um, I've opened up the secret mission too late and it become like a level 100 kind of like a secret mission. Uh, what I should have could have done is to um, plan my path so as to, of course, first priority is to open up the supreme mission uh, earlier so as to fix the uh, difficulties level into something that is doable. Uh, you could always increase the difficulties with terra card plus uh, zero, plus two, plus five, plus eleven or twelve di level of difficulties to it. Um, so so as you wish to. But the uh, by and large, the I think the strategy is really about pathing uh, onto the uh, on, onto uh, try to open up as many nodes as possible, but also trying to raise the overall difficulties level a little bit higher, so as to get a good quality of loot. And that is basically the game. Now, um, for this violet run, I I usually you know I when I play Void Crusade, I usually follow some Steam online kind of guide to to uh, there's a sequence to it. 
like you know everybody's more or less doing the similar car path thing. I thought, well, I can do it myself. I don't need to read the internet, and I'll just like figure out which uh, which map to open up. Now, of course, I do refer to internet for the map that has all these secret like uh, con con uh, congitators or the um, you know the. The, the data slate or whatever that you know the kind of secret that you need to open up other mission because of uh, you have to complete something those I read it up in the internet but the sequence of it I thought maybe I just like you know um, play on my own and uh, well guess what uh, that's what happened I lost one key because I played on my own and I wasn't able to uh, to get the uh, the mission all opened up at the right level level 100 map is basically is way too high it was way too high for me um i was like um yeah i mean that that was pretty insane looking at, looking back at it i tried i tried i did try but uh it, it was just um it was just too slow and i didn't want to burn too many life doing all these things because there's a fixed number of life that you have uh, for to complete this um this this whole void crusade it's all of nothing or nothing so if you complete this supreme mission the very last mission of the void crusade you then you get the all the loot um, but if you fail be as like uh, you lo lose all the life and you just like lose all the loot um, so it's pretty pretty i mean you still have loot that you collect along the way but you don't have the big loot that at the end is like the boxes and boxes full of like good stuff um so yeah i mean that that is fun part um i like violet um i i play i I play Ecrude, uh, Ecrude, I like it, um, the Ember is alright, I would say, the Veridian is some, the first Void Crusade I did, it was doable, um, but the, uh, the Azu is the one that I find it pretty hard, because there are some maps that's really insane, even, even at this, like, you know, setup I have got, um, it, it could become very challenging, so, uh, Violet, I think I, I, I would do it again. It's something that I would enjoy doing, but I'll probably be reading a fair bit of like, um, you know, internet as in how to do the sequence, right? And perhaps the next um, map that I'm trying to do, uh, which is the, uh, I think it's called Zircon, Zircon. Um, I would read up the internet and see the path and I was try my best to kind of follow and see whether I can complete or not. So uh, just stay tuned for it um, as, as I do. As I when I've got like more kind of progress in this game, I'll share that with you. Level 86, uh, just a little bit more, I can hit like 87 and there will be like another 13 level to go. I don't know how kind of like long it will take. In my, it is my first time. Uh, I'm pretty much a new player. I, my first time trying to get to the uh, to, to the to the end of um, the, the the season journey, which is I'm like almost there, almost there. Um, if I can get the level 100 and do all these quests that they have or missions that they have for the season journey, then that that, that is all the good news that I have got. So now the um, so this is it basically. Um, I've I've got I ran through. Um, um, a void crusade, as you can see, there are tons of gear. I I pres I don't know. I mean. I may be able to use one or two. Usually, I don't, um, and I just have to keep doing it again. Um, but uh, I, I guess that is the, the 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 fun part of it. And a good thing about this game, I would say, uh, unlike others, is um, even as I level to to one hundred, um, all the gear that I collect still matter. Um, things that I still need to like, you know, um, work on and. And I still need to improve my gear, craft my gear, because the leveling is actually quite slow. And uh, and unlike Path of Exile, for example, once you trade for one of the uh, some of the best in lot, uh, kind of like you know starter kind of build, you could use the same set of gear to quite a quite a long journey. Uh, here, I have to constantly think about what to upgrade, uh, how to maximize my build. Uh, even as I'm hitting the 100, so it is very much like a sandbox kind of game, I would say, and uh, and that's why I think that's why it hooked me so much because uh, there's a fair bit of access accessibility. I could uh, figure out the game and just play my own without having having to stick to uh, people's build or people's um, you know kind of like uh, how how they play the game. Uh, although I must say, of course, you know, Void Crusade, if I were to follow a guy, I probably would have uh, get one more key. But seriously, I don't think I, there's a need for me to open six boxes. I think five is already pretty decent. And I, I think I should probably aim for five from now on because it'll be a lot faster to get to the five key rather than trying to get the six key. Well, that, that is from my experience so far. I could be wrong, but uh, I will check back in and share with you more as I play this game. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, again, Gong Si Fa Tai. Happy New Year. Bye. Hmm. <laughs>